All right. Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for taking the time to be on this webinar today. Uh, my name is Julio. I'm the COO of Monetize More. You can find me at julio at monetizemore.com anytime. We've been in business about just over eight years now ahead of the ad tech game this whole time. I promise to keep this direct and leave time for questions at the end. So let's just get right into it. Um, today, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, header bidding wrapper split testing. So basically, um, some solutions that you could do. Just a quick summary, uh, a header bidding wrapper is what you use to compete various different header bidding ad networks against each other. So they compete for your impressions within a piece of technology called the header bidding wrapper before they send those bids to your ad server, which is DFP. So just a quick summary there. So this is obviously a very important piece of technology for any header bidding strategy and, and any overall ad tech strategy as well. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be talking about. So you know, what, what's next? What, so this is important, this is an important piece of technology for your header bidding strategy, ad tech strategy. The next question kind of becomes, um, you know, why should you test header bidding wrappers, right? So how do you even do it? Um, you know, let's discuss, you know, how, how do I even go about it or, and, and things like that. So um, I'm gonna be talking about how you do it at the end of the presentation. First, let's discuss, you know, why you should even do it. Um, first and foremost, foremost uh, performance. So it might seem obvious to you, but the focus of a lot of ad tech partners is not necessarily performance. Um, we've clearly seen it over the last eight years of being in business and seeing the industry change. You know, data, ad placements, reporting, all very important, right? But at the end of the day, whatever your business uh, key performance indicators are, um, the best page RPM, the best CPM, the best revenue per session, or whatever the most important metric is for you and for your business as a publisher is what matters. So performance, you deserve to know, backed by data, backed by numbers, backed by statistics, what header bidding wrapper performs best for your site. So just a little taste on how we do this. We've created tech features to make our header bidding wrapper perform the best. And we've actually built a 50-50 split testing tool because we're not afraid to go up against anybody. And I speak that to that specifically a little bit later in the presentation. But in essence, you deserve, unless you're going to go out and hire um, you know, a bunch of developers or a talented developer and invest money and time and technology into building your own wrapper, you have to partner with someone to run a header bidding, a sophisticated header bidding wrapper on your site, and you deserve to partner with the best. And the way you do that is you test who the best is. And I speak about that a little bit later. So just an emphasis on that, you know, you've worked hard on your business, building either building your community, purchasing traffic, a combination of both. Your goals for your business and uh, are are high. You know, you got revenue goals, you've got KPIs, you've got things that you need to take care of. Build. Um, you deserve to know who who performs the best. Okay, who earns you? Who earns the right to run on your site, even if it's up against you know your own technology that you've built internally. You deserve to know if that technology is good enough, basically, to run on your site, or if there's something better out there. So it's important to test. This whole industry is about testing. Um, just a little bit of background on why we're, we're even talking about, you know, testing us against you or testing us against any other ad tech partner out there. You know, head to head tests are great for the industry and for us as a business. You know, if I'm just being candid here, um, Monetize More's goal has been to empower publishers and yield the very best performance. I can tell you that we've outperformed all our tests that we've gone up against, but if for some reason, you know, we lose a test against some other competitor or some other, um, your internal wrapper or anything like that, the first thing that we're gonna do is find out why. And we're completely invested in performing the best. So this isn't just good for you as a business, you know, who is actually the best one out there. This isn't just good for competition in the industry and to seeing, you know, who really is the best wrapper out there. It's good for us. We, we are so incentivized to try to find out you know, if we ever do lose something, what was the reason? We need to we need to invest in finding out why and what what we're what we're not doing. So so far that has not been the case, and we we've, we've got case studies to back it up and things like that. But 
just so you guys know our business incentive here, like, cause I think it's important, you know, I'm a business owner talking to other business owners like you. Um, I think that's our drive to be the, the best performing, um, header bidding wrapper out there is just, it's just good for everybody. And just going back to the focus of all this, you deserve to know who performs the best for you. Data needs to back it up. Performance needs to back it up. Revenue, CBMs, all that need to prove to you who earns the right to run as your wrapper, <coughs> wrapper solution. So um, another thing that you should be aware of um, is sort of conflict of interest. So ad networks offering their own wrapper. So we're not an ad network. We never will be. Um, we, we never have been. So we don't have our own demands. We don't have our own ads to sell you. All we, all we um, provide is a technology, a product, a header bidding wrapper that competes all these other different, all these header bidding networks against each other, right? So some of these header bidding networks which are great partners of ours, right? They they offer their own wrapper, right? And there's it's a bit of a kind of a conflict of interest there, just like the picture shows. You know, doctor handing, you know, a prescription to a patient saying, you know, I just bought a few shares of this, you know, try this medicine. It's the same kind of conflict of interest. So if you have an header bidding network, um, who's running their demand on your on your site? Um, I'm not. Um, who's running their own demand on their site? On your site, they can have their own wrapper. So they'll implement their own wrapper, they'll run themselves, they'll run other header bidding network partners against each other within their wrapper as well. This is all great. I mean, it is a wrapper. You're running header bidding. But you don't really know the tech behind the scenes. They could be they could be potentially preferring their own ad network demand, their own ads over others over others to, to, despite the bidding. So you sort of need someone who's agnostic sort of not an ad network to have that kind of, to eliminate that conflict of interest. Now, I'm not saying um, this is what's happening, but just intrinsically, there's there's a bit of a conflict of interest when an ad network, um, who we are great partners with, right? We have to be. Um, they perform great. But in terms of them offering a wrapper to you, it's it, there's a bit of a conflict of interest. There's, if, you, if you dive deep, um, if you ask the right questions, they might be preferring their ads to themselves, you know? So that's something to be aware of in terms of uh, who you pick as a wrapper solution. Uh, another reason is, um, you know, the vanilla version or the basic version of prebid.js is, is just not enough. Uh, tech features um, that you need to add above and beyond just your regular version of prebid um, are really how you outperform and what you deserve on your site. So if you go, if you implement the open source code of prebid on your site, sure, I mean, you'll have header bidding running. Um, header bidding will run on your site fine. Uh, you'll have to invest a lot of time just to do that, but you know, you'll have header bidding um, live on your site and ad networks competing. But you know, your regular vanilla version of prebid isn't enough. You need sort of different tech features on top of prebid, different deep, um, ad tech, a sophisticated uh, kind of features to compete all the impressions in the correct way. So Brandon, after the com after this, or he can link it as well uh, in a follow up email that he'll send you. He'll send you our PubGrew header bidding. That's just our what we call our header bidding wrapper solution. Um, the tech features that we have um, implemented on our wrapper in order to make us perform the best. So um, we've invested a lot in this uh, in these solutions. Um, and we've actually invested a lot of developer time, so you don't have to um, have to do that kind of stuff. So, uh, just a little bit of a preview of that is on the next slide. So, some of these, um, the marketing doc we'll send out is kind of neater than this, but just to give you um, a quick overview of what some of the features are, um, they're right there. You know, you can, you can read them. You'll get a copy of this as well. But um, we run, you know, the pre-bid skeleton. That's what we started out as a code. But again, like I said in my last slide it's not enough. So you add, we've added different technical features to yield the best performance. And this is something that, you know, if you don't have the development power to do internally, you know, it's totally fine. You just should partner with someone that does. And how you pick who you partner with is whoever yields the best performance. So this is me just letting you guys know why we perform the best. And, you know, that that's all well and good. I know you, some of you might be thinking, great, these are great features, but who performs the best? Well, um, that's where the 50-50 test comes in, right? So um, if you don't know what header bidding is, just a little side note, go to pubguru.com. There's a video 
that explains exactly what header bidding is. So if this is all sounding a little bit Greek to you, then please do go check that out. Um, as far as the 50-50 test, so numbers one through three just uh, summarize everything that I've just been through with the slides. But in terms of how you test us, how you do um, sort of a 50-50 test or an 80-20 test, whatever you want to do, that's all step-by-step -step instructions. Um, basically, in summary, you just get a hold of us. Say you want a 50-50 test, us versus um, a, another wrapper solution or your own wrapper solution. And it's basically a piece of code that we give you to test us up against each other. In summary, it um, competes, uh, it splits the amount of page views. So whatever, if you get, you know, say a million page views a month, you know, 500,000 of that will go to us, 500, 000, our wrapper, 500,000 will go to the other wrapper. And um, essentially you run a reporting on DFP that shows you who performed the best on a head-to-head -head test. Now, if you're too nervous to do a 50-50 test or whatever, we can do an 80-20, 90-10, 70-30 test, whatever you want to do, right? Uh, just to prove to you that, um, you know, who performs the best. Now, there's certain ways to calculate um, who, who does perform the best in terms of once you look at the data, but it's really simple. You're in full control. It's on your DFP. If you don't have the, a DFP, we'll create one for you, but um, it, it, the results of the test are completely transparent. The 50-50 testing code is completely transparent. Um, just a little piece of data here. On average, we've outperformed other wrappers 38.7% net to the publisher versus whatever other wrapper they were running. We've got case studies to back that up that we can send you. Um, uh, we've competed against all the major, you know, I guess, competitors or other ad tech vendors out there. Uh, we don't consider ourselves a vendor. I hope you know, my presentation is coming off that we, we want to understand your business. We want to understand your business goals and really be that partner that just performs the best for you in terms of a, a header bidding wrapper solution, right? So that's the why, one through three there. Uh, how, basically just email us or, or get a hold of us on how to do it. If you want to take a look at, you know, a step-by-step -step way of how to do it, our blog has it, monetizemore.com slash blog, ad tech partner, AB testing guide. You can plug that in on our site or you can, you know, have this URL, which we'll send you after the presentation as well. Um, and it'll go over exactly how it works, how you can test us, and, and things like that. So these are some of the publishers we work with. Obviously, um, we have gone head-to-head -head with some of these with other competitors because it's just the nature of the beast, the nature of the industry. We've won every single time, right? So again, our motivation is to continue being the best, and that we were sort of our culture and everything that we've kind of grown as a bootstrap company is has always been focused on you know, performing the best. We, we wouldn't be where we are today if we didn't just always strive to perform the best. That's our complete focus. You know, data, technology, all of that, super important, super cool, right? But at the end of the day, we want to perform the best for the publisher, and that's why I'm speaking to you today, and that's what I kind of want to drive home on why you should test us against anybody or your internal header bidding wrapper as well. So that's pretty much my presentation. I look forward to your questions. Again, you can you know, follow us on social media, um, get a hold of me, Julia at monetizemore.com, Brandon, who's on the call as well, Brandon at monetizemore.com, our VP of marketing. Um, and I'll field any questions we have uh, right now at the moment. Okay, so I got the first question here. So what sort of added tech is needed for pre-bid? Um, really, you don't need, here, here's our tech features that we've added. You don't need to add any tech features. It's not something that's obligatory, um, but it is how you'll outperform. So to give you an idea, all of this stuff that's on the screen right now, we've spent a lot of time testing and retesting and live testing on, on a bunch of publishers, and all of these are currently live on our um, publishers right now. The regular version of pre-bid doesn't, you know, for example, do a timeout based on geolocation. So in summary, someone browsing from a desktop uh, in the United States is gonna have a different timeout or should have a different timeout that performs versus someone in Brazil browsing from a phone on a 3G or 2G connection, right? That's just one of the many examples 
that uh, how deep you can get what sort of added tech is needed you don't really need to add any tech my, my point is just we have and that's how we've been able to perform um, you know at sort of the next level for all of our publishers um, but it takes a lot of time to add all this stuff um, pre-bid you could just implement pre-bid and you know you have header bidding but there's much more you can do you're leaving money on the table Would you be able to show examples of 50-50 tests? Of course. So, um, Brandon, make sure whoever asked that question, if you can get um, uh, their email or their contact information, I'd be happy to send you exactly our case studies that we've gone up against um, other, you know, wrapper solutions or other sort of ad tech vendors and show the specific results. We have various, various 50-50 test results and case studies that we've um, built. So I'd be happy to send that over to you, um, you know, after, after here, uh, on average, again, uh, I don't want to go through each one of them here, but uh, on average, we've performed, I think I said, 38.7% net to the publisher above and beyond um, whatever they were running as header bidding before. So I'm happy to send those specific tests to you sort of offline. Um, we've built those for a reason, so definitely happy to share that later. Do you support all demand partners? Yes, absolutely. So anyone you can think of, we support. Uh, there are many, many out there. We support all the big guys, you know, Amazon, Index, Rubicon, um, and then all the, you know, some of the smaller ones, District M, uh, Sovereign, um, 152 Media, CPX, all of them. Like any uh, header bid ad network partner that you can think of, yes, we support all of them. We partner with all of them. Um, if you want your own relationships with them, we support that. If you want us to reach out and, you know, get those relationships for you and implement them, we support that as well. We're completely transparent. And we always have been. And so uh, we do support all demand partners, whether they're your relationships or whether we have to bring them in for you. Do you support video header bidding? Great question, video header bidding. So um, this is something we're working on. So video header bidding is not something that is super prominent right now. So for example, um, there's only maybe a few header bid partners that even do this, uh, head, video header bidding at the moment. Um, I am talking about header bidding ad network partners. So this is, if, if you were to ask me what the next best big kind of step in ad tech would be, uh, it would be video header bidding. So by the end of the year, hopefully by the, you know, as soon as possible, this is definitely a high priority for our tech team, but we kind of, uh, for video header bidding, we, we, um, we are in line with sort of the industry. So it, it's super important. We're, we're investing it uh, a lot into it, but until it gains traction with where we can actually say more and more partners, more and more header bidding ad network partners uh, support it is is basically in parallel to where we're going to be like, okay, we launch it. So uh, as of today, uh, no, we don't right now, but we will uh, as the industry kind of gains more traction of it uh, with it. Is there a control panel or is everything reported through DFP? So um, obviously, uh, so we give you the 50-50 code. Uh, all of our statistics are tracked in a control panel, yes. What, is, what you see on DFP are the results of our performance and the results of whatever other header bidding wrapper performance uh, that you see. So we can't take the other header bidding um, solution, how to, uh, the other header bidding, the competing, uh, the competing header bidding wrapper solution and put it on our dashboard. But where you see the results, the head-to-head -head results of that is all via DFP. Um, and so in addition to that, yes, you see our performance via control panel or a, a dashboard, but um, whoever you're running, whether it's you or another uh, ad tech um, header bidding wrapper, uh, you'd have to look at their dashboard. But everything, the head-to-head -head results, are all via DFP. Thank you. 
these are some great questions, by the way. Um, is there a minimum amount of impressions <clears throat> for header bidding to work? Um, you know, um, if I'm just speaking in terms of revenue, if you're making anywhere between, I would say five thousand, um, five thousand dollars a month or more in ad revenue, I would say you should implement header bidding if you're only running AdSense or even if you're running Ad Exchange. Minimum amount of impressions is that it, it's more, it's more revenue is more relevant to be honest. If you're running twenty million in impressions from, you know, South American or Eastern European countries and you're making five thousand. Uh, $5,000 a month, or if you're running 5 million impressions a month from the United States in a niche market, um, and you're making $5,000 a month, you, you should be running header bidding in both those situations. So minimum amount of impressions um, is a little bit, you know, I guess not really. I would more focus on the, the revenue that you're earning because in, to be completely honest with you, that's what uh, the uh, header bidding ad networks that need to, to line up their campaigns for you care about so if you're running I'll answer that just by saying if you're running however many impressions you're running if you're making like five thousand dollars a month or more then I would run you know whatever you're running ad sensor ad exchange versus uh, header bidding network one two three four and I would run that via a wrapper that uh, earns your business So I got one another question here. So are header bidding wrapper partners providing very bad ECPM rates? Even AdSense is producing a better ECPM. What could be the reason? It could be a number of reasons. You know, great question. I'd love to speak further. Uh, Brandon, if you get that person's contact information, that would be awesome. But um, you know, if you're header bidding wrappers providing very bad CPMs, um, I don't know, it, it, it's got a lot to do with, without knowing sort of your demographics, where, you, where your traffic is coming from, and things like that. Uh, you know, it could be that the setup isn't isn't running correctly. It, it could very well be the setup, you know, the, the technical setup or how DFP is set up with it. It could be, um, you know, that if ad, typically header bidding wins about 30%, 30 to 50% of your impressions go to header bidding if it's set up correctly. Um, and that's a very broad term, but anywhere typically between, you know, AdSense should be getting 70 to 50% of your impressions and header bidding total, header bidding should be getting anywhere between 30 and 50% of your impressions. Um, if that's not happening, then, you know, that might be a setup issue. If that is happening and the CPM is very bad, that might be that, you know, you don't have some of these features that I'm showing you right now. But it, it all depends on what country you're coming from, uh, the traffic is coming from. Um, your users, you know, specific timeouts, you know, header bidding has a, has, has a timeout, maybe that's the issue. It could be any number of issues really, but, um, but we could, we could, I'm be happy to dig with you, um, into that with you personally, you know, after the call, but, um, it could be a, a number of reasons. So the next question is, are we allowed to run multiple ADEX solutions alongside your header bidding setup? Or do we have to strictly run your ADEX? If you have your own ADEX, you can run our, your, your ADEX alongside our header bid solution. If you're running another vendor's ADEX um, against and running our header bid solution, you can do that too, you know, absolutely. Um, ADEX plus header bidding is kind of like peanut butter and jelly or chocolate and peanut butter, depending on your taste. Um, if we if we have control over everything, and, and I mean sincerely, if we have control, or if we have visibility into what's going on with your ADEX and visibility into what's going on in your header bidding, we will outperform um, a lot better. But if you want to test or for whatever reason, uh, just to quickly answer your question, yes, you can run either your own ADEX versus our header bid setup or another vendor's ADEX versus our header bidding setup.
these are some really great questions. I, I hope we have some more. This is what I like to kind of talk about or leave these uh, leave this time for questions. Um, okay, uh, looks like that's it for questions. Again, um, reach out to me or Brandon. There will be a follow up showing you guys the tech features and things like that, um, as well as um, you know a link to our blog again on how to run this fifty fifty test. But in conclusion. Uh, you've worked hard in your business, you know, partner with someone who's working hard for you and who performs the best. It's all about performance. That's that's our attitude towards everything in ad tech. So um, I hope that's your attitude as well. I look forward to speaking to more more of you um, in the future. You know, you can find me at Julia at monetizemore.com or follow us on social media. Thank you so much for your time. You guys have a great day. And uh, yeah, best of luck to all Thank of you guys. Thank you.